Very good evening. Thank you for joining us. You're watching the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarb al -Fat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a written letter from the Jordanian monarch King Abdullah II, including an invitation to attend the next Arab summit in Jordan. The letter was given to His Majesty by the Jordanian Minister of Foreign and Immigrants Affairs, Nasser Jodda, during his reception at Safriya Palace today. He conveyed to His Majesty the greetings and appreciation of King Abdullah II and his wishes of further development to the people of Bahrain. His Majesty delegated Jodda to convey his greetings to King Abdullah II and wish the people of Jordan prosperity and development. He thanked King Abdullah II for the invitation and expressed his wishes for a successful Arab summit to achieve its set goals that serve the Arabic nation in light of the current developments and events. His Majesty expressed pride in the broadly deep-rooted relations between the two countries and the mutual keenness on enhancing them. He also expressed appreciation and pride in Jordan's stances in support of Bahrain. He praised Jordan's role under the leadership of King Abdullah II in supporting Arab and Islamic issues and serving the Joint Arab Action March as well as its contribution to promote security and stability as well as regional and global peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace today the Board of Directors of the Bahraini Athletics Association, the BAA, led by the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the West Asian Athletics Federation, and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. During the meeting, His Highness Sheikh Khalid and BAA's Vice President Mohammed bin Abdul Latif Jalal presented His Majesty the King with a book prepared by the Bahraini Athletics Association titled Khalid bin Hamad and Bahraini Athletics, which documents the achievements of His Highness Sheikh Khalid from the year 2012 to 2016. It also documents all achievements made by the players of the Kingdom of Bahrain in various championships and tournaments, both on regional and international levels. His Majesty the King praised the efforts that have gone into the preparation of this book, which documents an important phase of Bahraini Athletics. He also commended... The continued achievements of His Highness Sheikh Khalid, which strengthened the status of Bahrain and its effective role in regional and international sports events. He went on to express appreciation of the role of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chaired by the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work in Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as the role of the Bahraini Athletics Association and his quest to create the best circumstances for the players and the development of plans and programs in order to upgrade Bahraini athletics. His Majesty the King continued to laud the outstanding results achieved by talented Bahraini athletes. He also affirmed the keenness to provide all the support and encouragement to the young athletes in order for them to achieve success and uphold the nation's status. He wished them continued success and further achievements. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his support to the sports activities in general and athletics in particular which developed immensely throughout the past four years in light of the global achievements made by the champions of the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Highness affirmed that meeting His Majesty is a source of pride and honour to BAA members, stressing that the accomplishments achieved by the athletes were a result of His Majesty's support. He also stated that the book published by BAA documents the association's march in the past four years, noting that it had witnessed a golden era. He stressed the importance of documentation in preserving champions' achievements to create a source of inspiration for future athletes. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister issued Edict No. 1 of 2017, transferring and appointing directors in the Electricity and Water Authority. The edict stipulated Ghassan al Shawqi El Hakim, the Director of Purchases, is transferred as Director of Projects, appointing Engineer Muhammad Yusuf Al Murbati as Director of Purchases and Supplies, and appointing Dr. Kazim Hassan Al Ali Madin as Director of Planning and Studies. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today held his weekly majlis at Rufa Palace. Members of the Royal Family, senior government officials, members of the Shura Council and Council representatives, members of municipal councils, religious and community leaders, journalists and diplomats attended the majlis. His Royal Highness welcomed the broad range of visitors at the weekly majlis, which demonstrates Bahrain's commitment to rooted traditions and values that are underpinned by 
by His Majesty's aspirations to maintain a strong bond amongst Bahrain society. The Majlis visitors extended their appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for hosting the Majlis and emphasized the important role His Royal Highness plays in advancing sustainable development to guarantee prosperity and opportunity for the people of Bahrain.
New representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, said that Bahrain's triathlon team's achievement of attaining third ranking globally was due to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his presence during the various international championships, which resulted in making this achievement. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that the national triathlon team has accomplished its preset global goals for 2016 globally promoting Bahrain's development and gaining the expertise paving the way to achieve a better result. The Housing Ministry achieved a significant amount of accomplishments in the year 2016 under the directives of the WISE leadership to provide Bahrainis with high living standards. More in the support with Mohammed Youssef. The year 2016 has witnessed tremendous development in the housing field thanks to the efforts of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the directives of His Royal Highness Her Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to enhance the government role in providing housing services to the people of Bahrain, and the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. According to the current housing ministry's program, the ministry has distributed more than 16,000 housing units across the governors of the kingdom since last year. The ministry has always been keen on continuing its march of achievements in order to meet the aspirations of the wise leadership and the people of Bahrain. Under the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the housing ministry distributed 6,200 units on two different phases, which indicates the success and progress of the ministry's work. The rapid urbanization of the five housing cities and the infrastructure projects contributed to meeting thousands of housing needs in addition to the housing complexes projects that played a huge role in allocating housing requests in different areas of the kingdom such as Sitra, Tubli, Demistan, Askar, Jau and many other projects. The Ministry of Housing also distributed contracts to recipients of Hanania project units. The move follows the orders of His Royal Highness Crown Prince to distribute 3,000 housing units during the first phase and another 3,200 units in the second. 128 housing units at Askar Housing Project were allocated by the Ministry to beneficiaries. The Ministry also had allocated 61 units in Jaul Project and 14 units in Adur Project. The Housing Ministry distributed more than 1,000 units to beneficiaries from the Demistan and Nabi Saleh and al Lawzi housing projects. The Arad housing project is made up of 351 housing units, which built on a land covering 15.45 hectares. The first phase of the residential project featured 138 housing units, and the second phase included 213 units. The ministry also distributed 1,200 housing units within a Ramli housing project and another 3,408 units have been built in the northern town. The Kingdom of Bahrain continues to provide the best government services and is committed to further improve the living standards of its people. This is Mohammed Youssef reporting for Bahrain International.